After the relief of Leyden came failed peace talks. What followed was heavy conflict on the borders of Utrecht and Holland. The city of Schoenhoven was taken by the Spanish and in August 1575, the small town of Udwater was subject to a massacre by the Spanish soldiers. was stood a siege for a grinding 11 months before finally being relieved. Before the relief of Leyden, the city of Middleburg had held out the rebel navy for as long as possible, but the sea beggars cut off food and supplies from the royalist city. William the Silent promised an honorable retreat to Spanish garrison commander Cristobal de Mandrago and the rebels took possession of the city. Mandrago sought redemption from Middleburg and commanded his men north to Zerixi. After assessing that the town would repel a storm, Mandrago laid siege and cut off all supplies. By March of 1576, Zerixi and its inhabitants were sealed from the outside world. The beggars made an attempt to relieve the city by sea, but Mandrago repelled them. The Spanish exacted their siege until finally the city capitulated. the victory at Zerixi, Louis de Requesens passed away. The death of Spain's representative in the Low Countries very well could have contributed to the mood of mutiny, but the negligence on the royal side continued up the ranks. Before passing away on March 5th, Requesens complained that he hadn't heard anything at all from Philip for seven months. The King of Spain was busy untangling an embroglio of finance that not only caused another recent declaration of bankruptcy from Spain, but also left an inability to pay for Requesens' funeral. soldiers mutinied. The men sought their arrears in loot and chaos. The focus for the marauding soldiers being on the wealthy city of Antwerp. For four days in November 1576, the Spanish troops went on a rampage of killing, raping, plundering, and then covering their tracks by means of arson. The town hall of Antwerp, where Counts Horn and Egmont were beheaded, went up in flames, as did any preconceived beliefs from the royalists that the Spanish were there to protect them. Ten to 20,000 residents of Antwerp were murdered. The remaining leaders there sought firm and lasting change in the government. 